Hi guys, it's your boy one and only Nikki. Welcome to another vlog, guys. Today I'll be cooking some dal, rice, some aloo curry and chana. I'm gonna make a little bit of flowery and a little bit of vara because we are fasting right now. So I didn't get the mix. I didn't mix the vara yet. I didn't mix the flowery yet. I'm getting started now on my rice and my doll because the water is hot. I already washed my rice over here and I washed my doll already so I'm gonna go throw my rice and the doll and when I get to the bar on the flowery and the aloo curry and chana I'll show you guys how I prepare it together. So thank you guys for all the like, subscribe and support from my channel. Appreciate you guys so much. One love. I really really appreciate you guys. So like and subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. So um, I have one shout out to do guys, and the shout out is from Happy Birthday to Justin from his father Joe and Michelle wishing you, wishing him a happy birthday with lots of blessing, love and happiness and good wealth from your mom and dad Michelle and Joe. That's the birthday wishes they send it out from you to you. I hope you like it and enjoy the birthday wishes. And happy birthday to your daughter Lashmi for her 10th birthday. May God bless her to see many, many more birthdays to come. Big up to you, Lash and Tina. Big up to you guys from New Jersey. Big up Tina from New Jersey. So guys, I washed my dog. I washed my restaurant already. I'm gonna wash my dog now. I wash my dog, I'm gonna put it in now. The water is boiling. So guys, I like a lot of garlic in my dog. And I have here some turmeric powder. I got six weary pepper. Like I'm doing like my brother does. He likes a lot of pepper in his dog. So I like a lot of pepper too. So here goes my turmeric and my pepper. My garlic. So hi guys, here I got my um I decided the last minute to put some gula jamun inside, so you have some gula jamun there. Um, I got my potato peel and I already in the water soaking. I got my can of chana. Here is my bara mix soaking there. I pull out Here is all my shallot, mint leaf, my parsley, my onion. My rice is done cooked. My dal is about to finish. I'm gonna get started with my alu curry and chana. In the meanwhile, the bara and the um, pull out soaking. I'm gonna fry out my um. My goja, not goja, sorry, my um, gula jamun in a, after I finish um, cooking my curry. Ready? <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. So guys, one of my subscribers gave me this. She, she bought it for me to try to do the dog. Her name is Sarita from Schenectady. Thank you so much. And I appreciate the love and the support all of you guys show me to my channel. And yes, of course, he buys in fashion with his glass today, you know, trying out his new stuff. You know, I gotta try, try to be more creative, try to make some fun in my video, have a little bit of fun while cooking, right? So Sarita, once again, thank you for this. I really appreciate it so much. I'm gonna try it first time on my doll today, okay? So here I go. You buy cooking with fashion, right? Hello girl, you think it's working really good? I like it. Thank you so much. So Sarita, there you go. I use your thing that you bought me, the doll thing. It worked perfectly fine. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please hit the like button, subscribe guys, show your love and support on my channel. 
by the end of the video if you guys can show me some love and subscribe i really appreciate it yes guys the boys in fashion today okay big up yeah so guys there you go my doll is all finished i use my stuff my um doll my new doll um doll thing that sarita bought me from schenectady once again thank you so much as you can see it worked perfectly fine i'm gonna go chunky the doll now so guys, here I have my Jira and my garlic for the doll. And here I got like three teaspoons of green seasoning, three tablespoons of masala, three tablespoons of curry powder, three teaspoons of garlic, one whole onion. Here I got four shallots and some um, mint leaf. I got some parsley over there. I got some two like two tablespoons of grind jira. Two tablespoons of grind jira. So here is the green seasoning, three tablespoon, three tablespoon of masala, two tablespoons of curry powder, three tablespoon of garlic, a whole onion, shallot, mint leaf, parsley. Two tables, uh, uh, one tablespoon of grind jira, and this is for my doll and the garlic. So, there you go, guys. That is my ingredients for my aloo curry, and this is for my doll. So, I'm gonna get started with my doll right now. So, guys, I'm trying my jira to patch to do my doll. Guys, here my garlic and um, giral pats. I'm gonna chunk it down now. Mm, smell really good, guys. See, guys, there's a the doll. So guys, here's my doll. I put a little bit of poi bhaji inside right after I finish because the steam is gonna cook the poi bhaji. I didn't want to throw it in earlier for it to melt out. So there you go. Look really yummy, right? So guys, my eyes hot. I'm gonna train my whole onion now. Chip, I chip it up. Here, that's so good in there, guys. Guys, my onion is all fry up. I'm gonna go ahead and add my masala, three tablespoons of masala. One tablespoon of grind jira. Three tablespoons of garlic. Three tablespoons of green seasoning. Curry powder. Three tablespoons of curry powder. So guys, I add a little water for it to um, bulge up a little bit because I don't want to kiss in the curry heat. This is how my masala looks so far in the car, you guys. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. 
I did not add my shallot and my parsley and mint leaf in yet. When I add my potato and the tana in, then I'm gonna add those in. So I'll let this cook for a couple minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go get started with my um, gogola, um, my gulab jamun. Sorry, not gogola, gulab jamun. So guys, my masala is all bonji. I'm going to treat my potato now. So I'm going to use the potato aloo. This is look good, guys. Put it there. I'm going to see how you put it there. So guys, here's my aloo curry. I'm, I just um, bunch it. It's frying up a little bit. Then I'm gonna add my water for it to cook. So guys, sorry for the little shaky video because I use my hands sometimes to try to video both at the same time. So, so this is all bunge now. I'm gonna go add my water for it to cook and my chana in. So guys, I'm adding my salt now. You can average your salt. I average my salt in my hand. So then you can put like all, a half a tablespoon, quarter tablespoon. It all depends. But I average my salt in my hand. Because it's not a lot of aloo curry today. So guys, my, my aloo curry is all finished. It's boiling already. I'm going to put my mint leaf and my parsley in now. Because the mint leaf and parsley doesn't take long to cook and the shallot doesn't take long so that's why I like to add it in the end. So guys I'm adding, I'm adding in my channel now, one can. Guys, look at this, how beautiful it is now with the, um, the shallot, the, uh, the chana and everything. Look at that. See, look at that, guys. The aloo is all so well, so soft. Look, the spoon is going right through it. As you can see, look. So this is how my aloo curry turned out to be. There you go guys, al curry is finished. We're gonna start with my gulab jamu now and the bara and pulauri, okay? Guys, I'm gonna go start frying my gulab jamu now, okay? My oil is hot, I'm gonna put it in. Guys, you guys seen my video, how I fry my gulab jamu, how I mix it already, okay? So I'm just gonna put it in and fry it in real quick. I already make my pack and everything over here already for it. Ouch. Keep putting my hand too close to the oil. So there you go guys, so quick as fry because I roll it small this time. I don't want it to burn so. Here we go guys. Guys, I want to get it like a nice brown, a uh, golden brown, like not, not too brown. Like a nice brown color like this. They're all this is nice color. You take it out quick because you don't want it to burn. So guys, like I said, I rolled this more small this time because the last time I rolled them big and when it swell, it's too big, so I rolled them more small this time. So these are nice size. 
So guys, I fried them in a medium heat so you can cook. You don't want to put it in a high heat. So when you put it in a high heat, they'll get brown really fast. And then I'm going to cook inside. So you put it on medium heat and you cook it. You don't want to make sure the oil is too hot too. If the oil is too hot, it's going to get brown really quick and get dark. So you want to put it on medium heat and let it cook. So this is a nice color guys, as you can see, it's a nice color coming out. So here you go guys, it's all fried, I'm soaking it in my syrup now. So I am starting to fry my pulauri now. I don't want to overcrowd it the car here because I want it to fry nice and brown, take the time. And I don't want it to burn. So guys you can either use tarman sour or mango sour on these. It doesn't matter which sour you use. This is a nice color, you see how you try nice, nice golden brown, you take it out. This is so how selling nice and fat. guys here's my polari all finished this is the last set coming out I'm gonna get started on my bar right now mm -hmm. 
So this is how it looks, guys. I don't know, guys. Yeah, this is a lot of fat guys, come on, it's a lot of fat, fluffy, the barra, fluffy just like the owner and the polari, <laughs> so fluffy just like the owner, right? Let's fry the medium heat, okay? So guys, this is my bar of frying now. Let's look how fat and fluffy they are swelling. So this is the next set coming out. Here's some that I finished frying already. This is the next set coming out. I have like one more set to go. So guys, so guys, here's the last bit of my bar of frying. Last bit coming out. So guys, here is my rice, my aloo curry and chana, my dal, my bara, my gulab jamun, and my polauri. And I did not put out, put out the, the sour as yet. So guys, there I have my tamarind sour now to complete my meal for my dinner today. So the tamarind sour, the pulauri, the bara, the gulab jamun, the dal, 
the all Korean channel and my rice so there's everything set up So there you go guys, this is my vegetarian food for Saturday today. My rice, all Korean chana, my dog, my gulab jamun, my bara, my palauri, and my tamarind sour. So there you go guys, we finished cooking, I'm finished cooking. I'm having dinner now with me and my son and daughter finally get them back on the table again today after a long while. You know what guys, you guys know the wife is camera shy, she doesn't want to be on the camera, you know. So, here we go, we already get our plate dish out and set up, and ready to go to have our dinner. So, you guys, dig in and see how the food tastes and everything. Okay. You guys, make sure to like and subscribe. The food is great. Like, love you. Okay, guys, so here I go. Nice hot dog, doll, and nice all uh, Korean rice. So here you go, guys. The first one always goes to my subscribers and my fan. Big up to you guys. Mm -mm, guys, I'm not making it up. You can hear the kids say it tastes delicious, everything tastes good. So, guys, I'd like to thank you guys one more time. Without you, without you guys, my channel. Would not get anywhere, my viewers. I really appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. All of those who celebrate birthday, anniversary, happy birthday, happy anniversary to you guys. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your time. Peace out. So guys, I forget to do the pulauri and the bara and the um, gulab jamun. I get caught up with the time, I forgot to do it, so here I break my flowery. Look how the, how nice it is inside and fluffy inside, as you can see. And here I break my bar, you can hear the crispiness, that's what I like. And look how easy it tear apart, you can see that. So I'm gonna do a piece of the bar for you guys. Mmm, so delicious. And the flowery. So how does it taste? It good. tastes good. And like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. So guys, this is the gulab jamun. As you can see, it soaks so nice that it's farm. When you break it, look how easy it breaks. You see that? Thank you guys so much. Everything tastes delicious. Everything looks good. Peace out.